Welcome to Freshly for Animated. Normally, this character wears a short skirt. It is so small, it does not really interfere with animation and requires uh, very little extra attention while posing. But a question popped up recently whether it was possible to use smart magnet rigs to dynamically rig a longer skirt in a way so that it does not require constant attention. The typical approach uh, obviously would be to run a synced timeline and have all the skirt animation in there constantly having to match the leg positions and going from key to key with probably shaped wings. So we did some studies and it turns out actually it is possible and the results can be quite good and convincing. So in this video I'll share my uh, findings with you. Let's look at a couple of poses here where we can see different leg positions and how the skirt reacts to the legs and now let's look at uh, how these results are actually achieved. So what we have are two skirt elements and a mask. These two skirt elements are masked and the mask uh, basically takes care of this uh, lower edge, the hem of the skirt. Apart from that, these two separate elements are soft welded to the thighs. So we can control the silhouette, how much uh, the skirt goes away from the thigh. And if I switch the IK effectors on, I can show you how uh, the skirt follows the legs. So here is how it works with the leg, because as I said, this is a welded element, it follows the leg, but as we go in that direction, because it's soft welded, we can move it like this. And this one as well, it can go like this, and we can compensate for gravity and move it like this. Inside, we can have multiple states if we would need to have a wider gap like this. We can just uh, add an extra state where this lower part is actually wider at the bottom so that we don't get this uh, wedge revealing the structure of our skirt. And um, as I said, there is a mask and this mask controls how the edge works. Now let me unlock and cross the legs like this. In this case the elements will probably go like this and if we don't want to, to have them so wide we have second frames inside these symbols. The second frame is just narrower and follows the curve of the thigh here. So a very simple setup I will select both of these and go to the second frame so we get rid of these unwanted bits and come up with something like this. When we lock everything, we see how the skirt changed. This is pretty much all. I will just move the elements away so that we can see them once again. We have the mask which allows us to control the, the way this line works. The mask is uh, a child, let me just load. The mask is a child to the master parent. The master parent is this bit. And if we dynamically turn this bit, you can see the skirt actually interactively works uh, with uh, the legs. So if I, if I push the pelvis in this direction, 
it's not ideal to have a mask but if we push the pelvis in this direction with this mask we can control the lower edge and how uh, the skirt actually is cut let's just go the other way unlock and this is what we get of course uh, we can pose the character better this is pretty much all about how this uh, skirt has been rigged tweening obviously works quite well because uh, it's a very clean and simple logical setup so we can we can tween all these elements and it is very dynamic and you can you can pose it very easily let me just uh, show you something that you probably know but uh, might have forgotten about uh, I just I just pose these uh, based on one pose and then if we just decide that we would like to build an animation around this we can actually choose to lock one of the feet and move everything just based on that foot so let's decide to lock this foot I'll snap the controllers select this one go to another keyframe and press the move button it will snap the character to the controller so that the foot stays locked I can do this for this keyframe as well so now instead of uh, having her just uh, move her feet uncontrollably I've adjusted the poses to match a pinned controller oh, this is this is the other foot so I will have to snap the controllers again and this time choose this controller to match this pose so this controller and move and now we have pinned the feet and move the whole character based on the position of the feet this is uh, extremely powerful if you would like to create a logical sequence based on some random poses so this is pretty much uh, all that can be said about uh, this uh, skirt setup Freshly Flanimated